Hello, my name is Bruno Winterhalter. I'm a master chimney sweep and today I'm going to carry out a fine particle measurement on a pellet heating system with the Testo 380. I'm going to test whether the emission control limit values for particles and carbon monoxide are being adhered to. I open the case and lock the lid. I then connect the preheating section I remove the probe I connect the raw gas hose and I connect the measurement gas hose to the preheating section and make the contact between the probe and the measuring instrument. I connect the power supply and switch on the measuring instrument. I confirm that I want to carry out a fine particle measurement with OK and decide on an acceptance inspection. For each measurement I carry out a tightness test and close the sealing cap on the air outlet aperture and on the probe. After a successful tightness test, the traffic light switches to green. I close and remove the sealing caps and confirm with OK. I then go back to acceptance inspection and can confirm that the tightness test has been carried out successfully. Following this, I select a fuel. I can move down with the arrow and confirm that we are dealing with wood pellets and confirm with OK. During the stabilization time, I can adjust the individual parameters. Once all the parameters have been changed, I can start the zeroing with the continue button and insert the probe into the gas flue. Now I press the green button and begin the flue gas temperature measurement and at the same time the determination of the core flow. Draft zeroing starts and the flue draft is measured. After I've determined the core flow, I press the middle button and the values are saved. I go to continue with the button and the measuring instrument begins zeroing. After zeroing is finished, the measuring instrument is ready. I confirm by pressing the green arrow button. The stabilization phase runs lasting three minutes. After this stabilization phase, the 15-minute regulation measurement automatically begins. During the 15-minute measurement, we have the possibility of viewing the combustion behavior in the graphic display. I return to the measurement values here. We can now see the current values in the display. At the bottom is the flue gas temperature. After that, the CO content in milligrams per cubic meter, the CO content in ppm, the oxygen content in percent, and the mean particle value in grams per cubic meter. In the top line is the current fine particle content. The measurement duration of 15 minutes is now nearly over. After 15 minutes, the measuring instrument automatically switches off.
I am given the instruction to remove the flue gas probe from the gas flue and to prepare it for flushing. I confirm this with OK. Flushing has begun and will take about two minutes. At the end of the flushing procedure, it shows me the total values over the 15-minute measurement. The flushing procedure is now finished. I confirm this with OK. The measurement values after the 15-minute measurement duration can now be read off. The federal emission control law prescribes two limit values. The CO content in grams per cubic meter, which we can read here, the tolerance has already been subtracted. The limit value for this system is 0.8 grams per cubic meter. As we can see, it's OK. The particle content can be read off here in grams per cubic meter. The tolerance has already been subtracted here too. The limit value for this system is 0.06 grams per cubic meter. And again, we can see that the system is burning well. I close and the data are saved. I can now decide whether I want to carry out a further acceptance inspection or start with the cleaning of the instrument. I begin with the cleaning of the rotation diluter. To do this, I open the cover at the rear, release the locking mechanism, and remove the rotation disc. I clean the rotation disc with a Q-tip which is moistened with distilled water. I then dry it with the dry end. The cleaning process is carried out here too. And rub dry again using the dry end. Once a visual check shows that everything is clean, you replace the rotation disc Engage the locking mechanism and close the cover. Now I'm going to clean the sensor module. To do this, I remove the preheating section, open the sensor cover, take a Q-tip and try to clean it with a light pressure. After successful cleaning, I close the sensor module cover, replace it and turn it clockwise. Seal it with a protective cap and the cleaning procedure is finished. The fine particle measurement with the TESO 380 is successfully finished. As you can see yourself, the limit values prescribed by law have been adhered to.